Is this thing on? Hey everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. In today's video, I am just taking you guys for a day in the life, hanging out with Sierra. So if you are a new subscriber here, I welcome you. And if you're an old subscriber, welcome back. I am going to um, be making breakfast and then of course I have a movie recommendation um, list for you guys just so that you don't miss out on any of the holiday movies um, as well as making some gingerbread cookies so if you guys have time after watching this video to head over to your local Trader Joe's and picking up this box it's really simple and easy as well as giving myself some self-care with my nails just trying to get in the holiday spirit and of course I have a dinner meal for you all so stay tuned so that you don't miss out on what's in this vlog. Okay, y'all, so I've already watched Queen Sugar maybe like once or twice, but it is really, really good. So I am watching that over again while eating breakfast and sipping on my orange juice today. Okay, y'all, so you're probably looking at me like, what can I watch? Because the movie recommendations are here. So if you have disney plus you have a variety of options you have things like home alone one two three and four um you have frozen one and two you have um a movie called noel and you also have um jingle all the way home of course the santa claus is one two and three diary of a wimpy kid um you also have like a, a Mickey Mouse's Once Upon a Christmas um, and yeah plenty of others Nutcracker you name it if you have Hulu um, there is the Polar Express there is Deck the Halls Elf National Lampoon's Christmas Jack Frost and All I Want for Christmas now if you have Peacock you can watch Almost Christmas and This Christmas I just watched them um, and then you also can watch the 2018 Grinch as well as the best man and then watch the best man holiday um, and then of course they have the legend of Frosty the snowman and then a Grinch musical so so many um, things that you guys can put on leading up to the holidays and I wrote some of them down because I want to make sure that I watch them um, the Grinch musical sounds really cool. So that could be a movie night for us. So I spent this morning organizing. And this is not right. But I spent this morning organizing movies. So Halloween movies. And then like holiday movies Christmas wise here. But these are Blu-ray. Um, and then these ones are all Christmas movies as well. So holiday movies up top. This is just up here until Christmas is over. Next we have all of the Medea movies I have. Any CDs that she has. So she has Descendants 3 and the Trolls the, um, soundtracks. And then these are my movies. More like mine and the kids. But it's Blu-ray. Um, so these are just regular. I put the 
holiday Blu-ray up here. Then I went ahead and just organized it. Our TV remote wipes, hand sanitizer, our wall plugins, air fresheners, and um, tissues. This right here is Sierra Selection. So I have everything from like Game of Thrones, Martin, um, Once Upon a Time, Laguna Beach, Sons of Anarchy, Harry Potter, Roots, College Hill, Pretty Little Liars. I literally have all of the Bring It On movies. I have Wizard of Oz, um, Jurassic Park, Obsessed, Cinderella, Cheetah Girls, I mean, you name it, Power Rangers and all, shark movies, and then Chuck's selection is down here, along with like, you know, fake movies right there. So I did take time to clean that off this morning, and I'm proud of myself. Clearly. Okay y'all, so I'm just simply gonna make my kiddos some grilled cheese really quickly. I have this thing where like, if I buy bread, I wanna make sure I use all of it. So that is what I'm doing at the moment. So I made about five to six grilled cheese and I'm working on one of my videos. And eventually I think I'm gonna plan to bake some treats. Um, and just get in that Christmas spirit. Okay, so now I decided to come into the kitchen as I have some things pulled out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make these. All right, so here I have a gingerbread cookie cutter. I have a, um, like a little wooden spatula that just says peace, love, and joy, as well as a whisk. And then I also have the box of the Trader Joe's gingerbread cake and cookie mix. So yes, you can make this as a cake. You also can make it as cookies. So I'm scrolling down here and it looks like all I need is one egg, one stick of softened butter, and then one box of this. Now, you can either do cutout cookies or do drop cookies. I'm doing cutout cookies, so they're gonna have to chill for 30 minutes. I'll have to roll it out and then um, choose my desired shape, which is the gingerbread man. Bake these at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. That's just what I'm gonna do. I can already smell the ginger in here, but definitely the delectable molasses crumb of this gingerbread cake and cookie mix is full of fragrant ginger, cinnamon, and nutmeg and punctuated with punchy pieces of crystallized sugar. All right, so it is dough together. I'm gonna give this about 30 minutes for chill time. While I'm waiting on the gingerbread um, dough to form, went ahead and washed the dishes for today. Y'all, I have been using the Dove Limited Edition Holiday Treat Sugar Cookie Hand Wash. They also have this in a body wash, and I feel like they also have lotion. When I go back to Walmart, I'm getting me another bottle. Um, and then I'll stop using that in January. And of course, I'm trying to use up my dish soap. So I still have the apple cider dish soap until I get me a brand new bottle other than that one. So I bought these um, about three weeks ago from TJ Maxx for $5 each. Um, I have the red and then I also have the silver. I'm about to watch some Queen Sugar while I paint my nails. Okay, y'all, normally I don't do red, but um, okay, this is cute.
Okay, so the silver is not really as dark um, to my liking, but it is a-okay. Maybe I should have did white underneath and then the silver on top, but I'll just do two coats of it. So I don't know if you guys um, have ever heard of Macari, but Macari helps you to sell like a lot of different things. Um, I use Macari to help me sell my jewelry and things like that. So um, I used to put my jewelry on here, like my keychains, earrings, and things like that. And then Macari is exactly um, the place that I was on in order to find my computer right here. So I recently just put on Macari um, my Canon um, EOS uh, Rebel T6, which I originally got off of QVC about a year ago, a um, year and a half ago, for um, like re not recording, but for um, photography. And it didn't like you know I didn't want to carry around. A big bulky camera and I think like with the holidays I think this would be a really great buy um, for anyone who wants to you know do that so I didn't think that I'd be able to record off of this so I ended up getting the camera that I have now which is the um, Canon EOS M200 and it's the uh, mirror mirrorless camera so we'll see how that goes I have one person inboxing me already about that and it has already gotten 28 views um, and three hearts within the five minutes that I've had it on here. All right, so the gingerbread has been sitting and I'm gonna pull it out and get ready to roll it up. Okay, so it was a little tough cut getting it out, but that's because it just came out of the refrigerator. So I'm gonna put a little bit of flour down um, and then move it over to roll it out. Okay, y'all, so within like 20 minutes of posting my camera on Macari, um, it was sold. So I had like two or three people messaging me like, hey, what's wrong with the camera? I'm like, nothing. It's just that I got the one that I wanted. And boom, it wouldn't let me message with them anymore because it had been sold. So I got what I wanted price-wise because people were inboxing me asking like, oh, 140, whatever, whatever. So like there is shipping included, you know, with this price so i have to ship it out by the 22nd and today is the 19th in this actual video so i have to ship it out by friday so i think that either i'm gonna ask chuck to take it up there for me tomorrow or um that i'm going to just run out and do it um, myself either later or tomorrow that way um that way it's done Clean up my mess from this gingerbread house. Of course, I'm using Miss Myers. This is the mom scent. Um, I had the gingerbread dough on the table and flour. All right, so here they are, fresh out the oven. These didn't really turn out the way that I thought that they would. Some of them actually um, turned out cute, like this one and that one, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna decorate one um, to say that I did it. I'm using my decor piece that I put in the kitchen to like keep spoons and stuff on when I'm cooking. I'm going to use that piece as my example um, of what I want the one to look like. So I do have a section of red and green bows in here. Um, I do have eyes as well as like I could use these as buttons but I'm choosing not to. 
and no I did not make a snowman so I can't use the carrots and the lights is a no so I'm just gonna use this and then I'll make um, two eyes out of the writing gel okay y'all so this is how I decorated my gingerbread I just used one of the red buttons and then I had to use these two eyes because the writing icing um, smeared together and made it look like one big blob and I just gave him some little lines and used mini M&Ms for his button. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and get dinner prepped and ready. Y'all know me and Pinterest. We're like sisters, family, whatever. Anyways, I find most of my food ideas off of there. So the other day I was scrolling and I found a quick and easy stuffed shelf meal. And with that being said, I have some stuffed shelves up in the cabinet that... I want to use so I'm gonna get ready to boil these um, I need to get ready to boil some spinach and then I'm gonna whip up what needs to go in this bowl um, here and then once everything is like once the spinach is done it'll go in with everything else but let me just show you guys ahead of time what I'm putting in this bowl Okay, so starting in the bowl, I'm adding a 32 ounce of ricotta cheese. That was easy. Next, I'm adding in two eggs. All right, and I have some spices that I'm gonna be adding in here as well. So fresh red pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, oregano leaves, salt, and pepper. I'm also going to add parsley on the inside, um, but I also will be adding some on the outside once it's done. Now next what I need to do is cook the spinach and I'll um, place it in here as well and mix this all up and then I'm going to put all of this in a piping bag. I'm also going to go ahead and heat up my jumbo shells and with that piping bag or Ziploc bag, I'm just going to spoon it in there and we'll go from there. Alright, so this is what it's supposed to look like. I'm going to get ready to put this into a piping bag um, and then just wait on the stuffed shelves to finish. So it's 5.10, I decided to come out to the US um, UPS store <laughs> and drop the camera off just to get it off my hands before the holidays um, and so that I can hit scent um, and they can expect it um, hopefully by Christmas. Okay y'all, so I am out of the UPS store so that's the only thing I don't like is like when I don't come with my own shipping and stuff like well not shipping my own box and stuff so I just had to pay like $20 of my own money um, to get it sent off um, I'm trying to see eventually when I get to some light um, when they will expect that package since I since I sent it in the same day um, so 
we shall see. Now I'm going back home because I have um, the food in the oven and Chuck is watching that for me um, as I left really quickly. Good girl, but we still good. Who knew it'd be like